guys, for today's video is that we are going to perform an activity entitled the isolation of carbohydrates. You heard it right? So the purpose of this activity is that we are going to collect carbohydrates that is present in potatoes. The carbohydrate that is present in potato is what you call starch. Before we're going to start in doing these head activities, I'm going to introduce to you the instruments and materials that is needed. The first material or equipment that we will be needing in the set activities are potatoes. The potatoes should be cleaned and washed. Next are digital weight scale, cheese grater, water, and clean container for the starch to settle down. Yes, you heard it right. The equipments are easily to find inside our houses so we would be able to easily do the said activity. We will now start the activity. The first step is we are going to weigh the potato using the digital weighing scale in order for us to give the portion of starch present in the potato. As you can see, there is 263 grams of potato. Next is we are going to slice the potato into small pieces using the cheese grater. After chopping the potato into small pieces, we will now add any amount of water in the container in order for us to separate the potato and the starch present in the potato itself. We will now let this mixture sit for hours for the starch and water to separate. After few hours, the white solid color that you can see at the bottom of the container is the starch that will be collecting after the next step. The next step is we're going to remove the tap water. We will now place the mixture to smaller container for it to settle down. We will let this mixture sit for hours for the mixture to separate. We will now remove the top water again until the top water turns clear as indication that the starch present here has already cleaned. You can change the top water as plenty as you wanted as long as this starch is clean. Now that the water is clean enough to see the starch, we can now conclude that this the starch is already clean. So for our last part, we are going to remove the top water and settle the starch to dry so this is the starch we will now let the starch sit until it dries now that the starch is already dry we are now going to pulverize it and wait it after Using the digital weighing scale, we are now going to weight of starch that we have collected from the potato. As you can see, we have collected 23 grams of starch from the activity. of 
just one large potato can therefore contribute to the 30% of the adult minimum requirements of carbohydrates each day. Who could imagine that we can isolate such a starch from a potato? Such isolation is due to the solubility of the starch in the water. The water has a very low water solubility because of its large macromolecules, making it for the water hard to absorb such large macromolecules, allowing to have a solid formation. And therefore, it submerged on the container and was only isolated and extracted through the plantation. Hope you learned something from our video of isolation of the starch from a potato. Stay home, stay safe, can body. Did you know that starchy foods are a good source of energy and the main source of a range of nutrients in our diet? As well as the starch contain fiber, calcium, iron, and B vitamins. Some people think that starchy foods are fattening, but they contain fewer than half the calories of fats. Aside from the basic nutritional uses, starches are also used in brewing and as thickening agents in baked goods and confections. Starch is also used in paper manufacturing to increase the strength of the paper and use in the surface sizing of paper.